Welcome back everybody. Today we are going to talk about Joshua chapter 13 in five minutes. Free PDF on our website if you want to get it. There's a link down in the description. We always answer the same questions and we'll start off with the, the, uh, the typical question, when? When in history did these events happen? We've been talking about the Israelites going into the promised land and conquering it. That process began in roughly 1450 BC and it lasted anywhere between five to seven years. Two main characters in this chapter that you're probably going to be familiar with. First is Joshua. He is the current leader of the Israelites, and he's been leading them on this military campaign. We're also going to talk about Moses. Moses was the leader of the Israelites before Joshua. He died back at the end of the book of Deuteronomy. Now jump down to our next section, our map. The chapter opens with a discussion between God and Joshua about all the lands of the promised land that still needed to be conquered, right? Places where the enemy hadn't been driven out yet. And those locations were pretty much scattered all over the map. Now, the second half of the chapter describes how the land east of the Jordan River was supposed to be divided up. Because remember, two and a half tribes took their land over on the east side of the Jordan River. That, those were the tribes of Gad, Reuben, and half of the tribe of Manasseh. Okay, so move on over into our outline section. The first 14 verses are going to be the first section of our outline. Joshua is told by God to divide up the promised land amongst the tribes. So God came to Joshua when he was getting old and he reminded him that, as we mentioned, there was still a lot of territory to be conquered yet in the promised land. God promised to give Joshua and the people all of the land that he had promised, drive out all the enemies if they were faithful to him. And when Joshua conquered all the land west of the Jordan River, he was supposed to divide it up between the remaining nine and a half tribes. The tribe of Levi, we've talked about them in the past, they were a special tribe dedicated to God. They didn't receive a, a land inheritance. They received a portion of the offerings that were offered at the tabernacle. They received some cities that we'll talk about later on, but they didn't have like a land inheritance. And then we know that the other tribes received their portion of land on the east side of the Jordan River. So there's nine and a half still that need some land. They'll get it on the west side. That brings us then to really our last three sections, and I'll, we'll summarize them rather quickly. The first one, verses 15 through 23, is the land that was given to the tribe of Reuben. The next one, the land that was given to the tribe of Gad, that's verses 24 through 28. And then the land that was given to the half-tribe of Manasseh that settled over on the east side of the Jordan River, that's verses 29 through 33. And if you go through and read the chapter, which hopefully you already did, you'll notice that there's a lot of names and like landmarks mentioned for the borders of these, these regions and, and who was supposed to receive what land and how it was supposed to be divided up. Rather than relisting those names for you, what I've done is create a, a map, which hopefully will give you a, a better idea of the actual territory that we're talking about. So I've done this for the next couple chapters. And there's still some debate as to you know, the exact border lines of some of these places. So if you look online, you will find some differing maps, but I've done my best to, to give you one that I think uh, fits the, the the details that are given in this chapter in the next couple chapters. So take a look at the map here. You have the land of, I called it East Manasseh. That's the half a tri half tribe of Manasseh there in the north, just to the east of the Sea of Galilee. Then moving down into the land of Gilead, Gad and their territory is south of uh, of Manasseh's. And then further south is the land that was given to Reuben on the east side of the Dead Sea. All right, so uh, we're going to talk about more divisions and all the other tribes that get their land in the upcoming chapters, so stay tuned for that as our map evolves as we go through the text. Hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. We'll talk about Joshua chapter 14.